want to show you how we can set up these uh, widgets today to just show one um, listing ID. So you'll come over here, you'll create a uh, new, you're going to create a new widget. And then this widget, we're going to put it on, you can put it on a page on your site. It's called something like, you know, whatever it is, my domain. Uh, dot com forward slash property one so we'll come to property widget type and we're going to pick a showcase so it's just going to show one big property and then we're going to put a custom list and i'm just going to put in the listing id here and we'll just put a widget name let's call it property one for this example and um uh, let's see we'll change it here one column and we're only going to have one listing and let's build that widget. And so now here's the, there's a code right there at the bottom of the page that we can grab and put on our page. This is what it's gonna look like. Again, here's the widget code down at the bottom. Um, but all this stuff on the side of the page isn't gonna show up. It's just gonna have this picture and this information right here about the property. Um, so you can just put that on your page. If you wanna switch, and we wanna do and change the listing ID there, then we'll just get a new listing ID. Um, let's go back to the widgets list. And we will get this, we'll hit edit widget. And you just switch the listing ID number there, save the widget settings, and then we'll come back over here and reload this page, like if this is your property one page, and boom, you have the new property. So just like that, you can switch it out if you're going to put your barcodes or whatever on it. And this is a really simple way to switch it. Um, anytime you want, you just switch a new listing ID in here and you're good to go.